Sometime partner, Lieutenant Carlson. They said you called about a murder. I had to break the lock. The body. Where's the body? What body? The dead body. It was right there. Didn't you see it? Who? And the phone. And the window. Oh my God, it happened again. What's happened again? Just like last night. Just like in the movie theater. What? The dead body, it's gone, it vanished. Well, maybe he was embarrassed. Mm. Come on in here. You better sit down. But you don't understand. The body has disappeared. Now, whose body was it? I don't know. A man with a scar. He tried to murder me, but I stabbed him with the needles. Uh, narcotics, huh? No, knitting. And the... Oh, we put him back in the basket. And the poker, too. Or, or did you do that? Hey, relax. All we did was get an emergency call on a homicide. We got here, broke in the door with your landlord, and found you unconscious on the kitchen floor. I carried you to the couch. You carried me? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. And you woke up insisting that there's a dead body around here. Look, I know it sounds strange, but somebody cleaned the place up. And took away the dead body. Right. Wait a minute. I've got it. It must have been the albino. Now, who's the albino? He's the one who killed the man with the scar. You said you killed the man with the scar. I did, except he killed him after I killed him. See, I didn't really kill him. I just stabbed him with the needles. Right after he heard the cuckoo. <laughs> Gloria, 
I know you've been through something here tonight, real or imagined, but I just want to bring you down to earth a bit. You've got to see how absurd this whole thing is. We have no dead body, and no sign of violence. Our suspects are albinos and chain smokers. Wait a minute. I've got it. The albino is working for the dwarf. 